All right, so how's it going, everybody? We finally got one. We've done it. We got ourselves a booster box of Pokemon cards. Hopefully it's in focus, but yeah, this set just came out, I think sometime last week. Uh, it's called Chilling Rain. When I saw it kind of got announced, I went through the checklist just to see what kind of cards and stuff. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is like one of the, of course, the one I buy a booster box for is I think it's supposed to be one of the biggest sets of Pokemon cards, and I'm pretty sure it's over 200. I think it's like in the 220s or something like that. I don't really know all the cards or anything in it, which I did that purposely because I kind of want to be surprised by the thing, but I did check it out. I know there's like a cool shiny Snorlax. Is this the one with Electrode? I don't know, but there's some really cool artwork. I'm one of the weird people, I guess, where I really like the uncommons and commons and rares the artwork on the cards so yeah i'm pretty pumped to see what we can get in here hopefully we got some cool cards in here and big shout outs over to jesse on jesse rachel fl they gave me the opportunity to buy a booster box so that's pretty sweet we got one go check them out they play they play pokemon go every day i've been playing but i haven't really made i don't think i've made a youtube video in several months for pokemon go but i'm thinking next month i'll get back into making some videos for it. I've been playing, I think we're up to level 48 now. We're gonna level 50. And probably next month, I think like GoFest thing, we'll be doing that. But definitely check them out. They stream, I'm pretty sure almost every day over on Twitch. I'll link all their stuff in there. Two really cool peoples. I'm really glad they gave me an opportunity to buy Booster Box. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully there's some cool cards. And if not, Jesse, I know where your PO Box lives. <laughs> I'm extremely confident I have never opened up a Booster Box before. And if I have, it was back during the times of the base set jungle and fossil kind of. So it's been, is it 20 years now or something like that? So I don't know, which I don't know. I know I have maybe fossil, I 100% know a jungle booster box, like just the boxes. So I don't know if they were, I do remember the jungle, I think I got from like the card shop back in the day. So I don't know if I've ever actually opened up a booster box of Pokemon. So this will be a first, but pretty cool. If only I would have kept a booster box of Pokemon from base set, <laughs> we'd be rich. But yeah, let's do this up. Let's see here. So it should be 36 packs, I think. I think the, ooh, cool. I think the cool way to do it is, well, it doesn't matter now. I think the cool thing or the most enjoyable thing to do, definitely 100% the most enjoyable thing to do would be to open up all 36 packs, I think it would be, but uh, this is probably the only time I ever open up one of these maybe. So let's just do half and halves. So then we'll do the other half like tomorrow or the next day or something like that. So we can enjoy them, you know? But I don't know, who knows? Maybe if I want to, we'll just keep up, open them up. So yeah, let's start. But uh, like I was saying, oh, I looked it up. I think it's 233 cards. So that's a lot of cards and I'm not gonna do, oh yeah, main goal, every pack to at least recognize one of the Pokemon. And Blitzel I recognize from Pokemon Go, but I like to make it, same with Aeron. Dear Link, same. Delibird, that's a cool artwork. But I like to make it from like the old days. Pokemon. Agatha, reverse. And Passminion, Passmian? What is that from? That's just a basic Pokemon? Hmm. I feel like that should be an evolution, but that's a rare card. I know the cool thing to do is the pack trick thing, but yeah, we're not gonna do that. Flaff, oh, there's a code card. Go for it if you want that code card. Um, then we'll make like an energy pile. What are the fun of common stuff? Others, yeah. Yeah, so, cool. What the heck was I saying? I don't know, but yeah, I really like the, just the base, well, to me they're called base cards, but like the commons and uncommons, they have, and the sword and shield sets especially, they have such good artwork. Like, look at that ladybug, that's pretty cool. Gauntlet. Oh yeah, the pa pack trick thing, I don't, I mean, personally, I don't super care for it, so. If you want that, I'm sorry. Snowy Cast one. we need that on Pokemon Go, but it's kind of hard to get here in Florida. So Viper Reverse, and Golurk, just rare. Put those like that, like that, do like that. Corellia, 
Justify gloves and reading gloves. What's with all the gloves? Of course, Captain has to scratch in the background. So yeah, how's everyone been doing? Hopefully everyone's doing all right. Oh, that card has like, <laughs> I wonder if I can get, I don't know if I can get the camera to pick it up. Kind of, you kind of see right there. It's got like a super big print line right down the <laughs> middle of it. Mareep. Hair across. That's actually a really cool hair across artwork. Pokemon Go. That's our regional Pokemon. Grookey. We're going to pick Sneasel. That's an awesome artwork. Is that a, that's like Obama Snow in the back, right? Looks like he's stealing food or something. Cresselia Reverse. And Whalerine. Well, um, we're kind of getting destroyed here. <laughs> Just getting, what's that, three? Well, this is from the same side, so three uh, non-hollow rares. Kind of not the best start, but I believe in this box. We're going to get something cool. I can feel it. Aaron. Air, is it Aaron or Aaron? I don't know how you say it. Ralts. Venipede. Pound sweet. Lapras. I was just about to say, I don't think we've seen any like Deli Bird reverse. I hate Deli Bird and Pokemon Go just because it's like impossible to catch. But it is kind of funny. Where was it? I just had it. I'll get it after this. And Weezing. Wow, that's four <laughs> non hollow rares in a row. Avery. I hated Avery and Sword and Shield. He was so annoying. Flaffy. Clara. I think. Is Clara the one for Sword? Because I had shield. What was it? I was actually moving some things. And I got this. I don't know if I showed it or not. It's like a first place Deli Bird from Pokemon Land. I don't know what year it's from. It's from it says it's from 2012. So it's like a whatever the Pokemon competition thing. I saw it. I forget whose YouTube video I saw it in. And I was like, you know what? That's a really cool card. Let's get one. <laughs> oh, we got one. Yeah, we're getting destroyed. A whole bunch of non hollow rares. Diglett. We know you. That's a cool artwork. See, that's what I mean. I like love the artworks <laughs> on just the just the regular cards. Deerling, Sneasel, Galarian Farfetch'd. So good. Does anyone else like the artworks? Clara Reverse and yo, Tornadus V Max. Yo, we find one. That's pretty sweet looking. Tornado is wait, is that the one? Okay, yeah. This is wait, is it? Is this the one that's like way better in Pokemon Go? I can't remember. I know the regular, there's the, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> and then we got like a, a non-hollow. Oh, Haunter. There's gotta be, I'm pretty sure there's a Ghastly card. We want that. We want the Ghastly. We love ourselves some Ghastly. Where are my sleeves? Those are the better ones? Cause we, I only did a, several of these in Pokemon Go. That's pretty cool. We got ourselves a VMAX card. I like it. Blitzel again. Apparently we destroyed the code card. Luckily that was, was it already, I feel like that was already bent. Um, Deerling, Deli Bird. So I'm 233 cards set. We are getting quite a few. <laughs> and a Volcanion. V. That's not in Pokemon Go. Is this single strike thing new? I'm seeing that, I'm noticing that now. I'm not sure what that's about. It's definitely something for like the card game, but and then another hunter, Doctor and Celio. Is it is it C Leo or Celio? I feel like maybe it's Celio. Probably you would say that, but yeah, I'm not sure what that single strike is. I'm just noticing that now. I haven't. I've played a little bit of the card game, like the online card game, not in person. For fro, but it's pretty fun. I'm gonna have to rainy cast one that just became shiny not long ago. In Pokemon Go, Raboot, and Galarian Runarigus. Is that how you say that? I think I don't, I don't know if I ever did that evolution in Pokemon Go, but I know that's around Halloween. <laughs> Celio again, Melanie. Is she the ice gym. I kind of want to play through. Pokemon Sword and Shield again. I had Shield, which I did a playthrough of it on my other YouTube channel. But I keep I keep trying to do like YouTube playthrough, YouTube game, video game playthroughs, and I keep like getting to like halfway through the games and stopping. 
need to stop that, Marie. But we did finish Pokemon Sword and Shield. Well, Sword, Shield, I mean. Because that's the one we had. Sneasel, Echoing Horn, and Zangoose. We need that shiny Pokemon Go. Peony. Fire resistant gloves. Crabominal. <laughs> See, that's like a really awesome artwork. I don't know what the heck that thing is. What's it? That's from Cabral. Okay. They, I think they just recently introduced that to Pokemon Go. So let's see here. Yeah. Sobble, that's who we picked. And Sword and Shield, there's our starter Pokemon. He's cool, Ladybug. All three of them are pretty cool. I like the starters mostly. I'm not too big a fan of all the second stage evolutions, I guess it would be. Like, yeah, Grookey. Grookey's awesome. Clobopus. Reverse and Malamar rare. Non hollow rare. Getting destroyed. Layer on expedition uniform. Okay. Over to this pile. I can smell the Pokemon cards right now. But yeah, I don't know if I should try and put together. I still have yet to complete well, I've yet to complete a baseball card set. Other than buying like the one through two hundred or whatever base set, you know. But I have yet to do it for Pokemon. Maybe we should go for... I know in the base Sword and Shield set, I call it, we have... Because we bought several ETBs of that. Crap Locked, Reverse, and Sawsbuck Rare. Okay, the non hollow rares are extremely not rare, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like I should go for the base Sword and Shield set, and then maybe this, because it's like... I'm not sure. I mean, 36 packs. I forget how many cards to pack. Probably tells you right there. Ten cards. So that's like 360 cards, whatever. Um, it's got to get you close, I feel like. Or at least for the uncommons and commons and stuff. So, I don't know. But it's a big set. Yo, Celebi VMAX. That's pretty sick. That actually looks really cool. And that's the Rainbow Rare, right? Full Art Rainbow Rare or something. I think that's what that's called. That actually looks really cool. If you don't know Pokemon cards, it's also like textured kind of. So that's pretty sweet. That's definitely our best card. Some Raboot. Agatha. Okay. Yo, that card looks awesome. I think the Rainbow Rare is below the gold. What's, it, what's the gold one called? I can't remember now. The back of my day. But that card looks awesome. No, we'll put it over Dragonite. Cool. That's extremely out of focus. Dragonite, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. Back in my day, it was just the regular old holographics. But these the, these full art kind of cards are kind of getting to me. I like them. Ladybug, Scrovit, Crawler, Spooky, Score Bunny. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Haunter. We haven't seen a Ghastly yet, and rare, not hollow rare, but no. oh, it's appropriate. We got Psychic Energy. Right? That's like a great... No. Ghost? What the... I can't forget. I'm forgetting. I'm an idiot. Old Cemetery Impact Energy. Sorry. But, yes, we are definitely getting the <laughs> non-hollow rares. Like I said. Apparently they're not that rare. Glaring slow Slowpoke. Kraballer. Right? Yeah, Kraballer. Snowrunt. Weedle. Ca <laughs> cast form. Oh. That's just the regular cast form. I was thinking of the other ones. Slur Puff Reverse and Galarian Weezing. Not hollow rare. Jeez. I would strike scroll of the skies. Tiny Tree Hill. See, see, look at that artwork, yo. I mean, that's just a what? A diamond's uncommon, right? I'm super rusty on Pokemon cards, I'm sorry. But that looks awesome. Like, look at that artwork. That's really cool to me. That's what I like. That's not the base sword and shield sets. Also, hold on. Before we open these, like, what, last five packs? I need to restart recording. Every 15 minutes, I don't know why, my camera always resets on a recording. Like, it just stops. <laughs> so it's, if I can catch it beforehand, then I don't keep talking. Somehow, somehow, like, I keep bending the code card in the back. I don't know. It's like not, because I push it down to go with the other, but I'm, like, not bending the other cards. It's really weird. They're on, snow run. Also, the first time I've ever done that. Twice now, uh, with Pokemon cards. Blitzel Reverse, 
Tornadus V. That's pretty cool. V cards are actually really, I don't know if they've changed up the art style on the V cards, I think, which I'm, I think their V cards are newer, I'm pretty sure. But I feel like they changed up the art style on them. They look really cool though. I like it, Porygon 2. And also I saw, I don't know if it's, is it in this set? There's like alternate arts for some cards. And those artworks, of course, are amazing. Like, to me, that reminds me of like, kind of like a comic book kind of thing. They're really cool. I'm sure they're the most expensive cards <laughs> in the set kind of thing, but I should have bought it at ETB also, because they always give you that cool book, which I know you can just look up online for free. But, oh, got sunny cast form. <laughs> That's like, is that the like Play-Doh ones? But it's, I feel like it's not Play-Doh. It looks like clear. Sweet. Ooh, reverse of our boy Sobble and Cresselia. Hollow. Hollow rare. So, you know, at least hollow rare. Oh, we got the non hollow rare before. So, yeah, I'm not too sure on how to go. How to, if you collect Pokemon cards, how do you go with the. Do you also get like the non hollow rares and the hollows kind of thing? Forget trying to get. I'm not. I mean, I, I, I haven't looked that up. I want to see if. Anyone has like also the just regular reverse hollows of all the cards because I wouldn't do that, but that's actually like really cool. That'd be really cool to see that because you'd have like an entire binder basically of like the regular cards and then the reverse hollows of each card. That's honestly really cool, but not something I would really want to do. But I don't know. I guess for me, I'd probably have to go. I don't know how you would put that in a binder though. Yeah. But that'd be pretty cool. I, could, I, I think that's what I would do. I need to get me a nice, uh, oh my gosh, I always forget them. What are the dragon, dragon hide kind of shield, uh, binders? Oh my gosh, I'm completely blanking out on them, but I love them. But yeah, I think they carry up to 260 cards. So there's our guy, Ghastly. That's actually, I really like that guy. I just saw that there was a Ghastly card. I never really look at the artwork of it, but I really like that Ghastly. Where's my PSA Ghastly? I have, uh, I thought it was in the background of my... Is this it? Oh, this is it. Found it. It's uh, it's from the Japanese vending. From... Okay, I'll, there's probably like a secret rare card in here, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this Ghastly card. Actually, if you watch YouTube, I bought that off eBay. And it was from uh, that SM Pratt guy. Who, I love his videos. Sorry, he's actually one of like the only Pokemon people I watch. Kakuna and the Charizard guy. Oh my gosh. Complete. Well, I think he used to have it. I can't remember his name. Oh my gosh. There's a, I like him a lot. That's basically the only Pokemon card stuff I watch on YouTube. Love me some S and Pratt. How he does that. Sweet. Tana. I also saw he like blew up on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Because like for the amount of information that man gives out, he should definitely be <laughs> like one of the top YouTubers. It's pretty cool. And Steenie in the back, is that how you say that? Steenie Bounce Sweet. I don't, I don't think those Pokemons are in uh, Pokemon Go. Okay, so we just opened up the hat. We should just do it. I'm gonna, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be mad at myself for, not, well, what if we do half of that half? I don't know. Cause now I'm like in the mood to be opening. We're just banging some packs. Let's just do it. Also, yeah, we have to keep one of each pack art. Uh, well, I like to put the, or I do it for baseball cards and I guess Pokemon cards also in the couple binders I made. I always try to like keep a couple of packs and like this one, ooh, this one, this is, oh, that's a keeper. This one that uh, I always put it in like the front of the binder. I don't even know, oh that's that, oh. The Calyrex, that Pokemon? Cause I was remember, it was, that was in the DLC. Oh, which I didn't, I basically did everything in the DLC, that Wintertime DLC, I can't remember the name of it. And uh, Spirit Tomb, we need you shiny and Pokemon, it's shiny and Pokemon goes, well, I, mean, I guess it'd be in both Pokemons. Um, really cool, it's like blue. Put it on two. 
I basically did everything up until the part of catching the Galarian birds. And then I was, I was kind of trying to shiny hunt Registeel. I think I got to like 300 something and I just kind of stopped. <laughs> But I did see, there's like a game, Pokemon Unite. I think I saw some people were, ooh, Doug Trio. That's a cool artwork. That's a really cool artwork. And Thunderous. Wow, we're getting like all the Thunderous cards. <laughs> that, uh, I think I saw people were getting, there's like a beta for it, I think, or something. Or it's a demo, but I think you have to like put your Switch I don't know how, I'm assuming that like you set your switch to be in Japan or something because it's like Jap it's I know all the language and it's I've been seeing people doing is Japanese, so I'm assuming that's what they're doing. But uh it kinda looks interesting. I don't know if it's kinda be it's supposed to be a Koba Lion. Koba Lion, I know. I always like calling it Koba Lion. That uh Damn. You ever had a thought and then it's just gone? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were talking about Pokemon Unite, and it's gone, but, yeah, I don't know, it kind of looks, oh, I was gonna say, it kind of looks, I thought it was supposed to be an idea, kind of like League of Legends, but I don't know, I was watching, like, a couple of quick streams of it, but I'll, I'll just wait until there's, like, the English version, because I do not know how to read Japanese, so, whoa, wait a minute, Celebi VMAX, is that the same one? Did we just get double? That's the Tornadus one. Tornadus, Tornadus, where did I put that? So, oh, no, okay, so that's just the regular, is that texture? Yeah, it is also, wow. So we got the, that'd be like the Rainbow Ray, right? And the, it's hard to hold one hand and get the camera focused. So we got the <laughs> Rainbow and the, like, I think that'd just be the Fuller? I think that's what that's called. Laguna, Flannery, Rugged Helmet. That's pretty sweet. Well, hmm. Seems like we're getting the. So it's like we got two Celebes and then we got the Tornadus, right? Huh. Kind of interesting. I guess that'd be like called Collation, right? Like how Pokemon sorts out the. Whatchamacallit? Like the packs, I guess. Or the cards in the packs. Inkay! <laughs> That's a funny Pokemon. I watched Pokemon, I think it was X or Y. I can't remember. It's whatever it was on Netflix. That, uh, no, I mean, Jesse, Jesse, what the? Team Rocket Jesse would always be like, NK, like how, in his voice, how he yells it. Right, I'm pretty sure. Remembering, it's been a few years. Crooky, Leap, Rock Rough. Oh, look at the puppy dog. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a puppy dog. Flip it. Wait, does it say it? when it rubs the rocks on its neck against you, that's proof of its love for you. However, the rocks are sharp, so the gesture is quite painful. Oh, nice. So it's like, oh, I like you, human. And he scratches you. Fire, so you probably could use some fire-resistant gloves to help you out with holding it, which I don't, I guess it wouldn't make sense because it's like, are there rock-resistant gloves? Like those, uh, Steel kind of gloves that you use filleting fish. <laughs> I never like those because then you gotta wash them. And they get, I've tried them for like a few times fishing and then they just get really gross. So, uh, I just went with my hands. Cup food. Because way easier to clean every time your hands than a nasty glove. And that's Slow King. That's the, I've, I've seen that and, uh, I think I watched like a little bit of stream of someone opening and I wrote this artwork is so cool on the slow king That is so cool <laughs> That's one of the V cards, so I think maybe I, I feel like they kind of changed the artworks up on the V cards That artwork looks awesome. I like that Let's see Deerling. I don't know if it has a uh, coughing. That's such a good artwork of cough. See what I mean? Like, I love these artworks. But they, that's a cool one. I like that kind of, yeah, like slow poke. Even the deerling kind of looks like, but 
I guess it'd be like, is that the hand-drawn kind of, or look? I guess it would be hand-drawn look. Any cool card? Nope, Doug Tree. Which would be cool, I guess, if it could be hollow. Drizzle, right? Drizzle, Drizzle. Oh no, we're at 11 minutes. Okay, we'll open this pack and then restart. I feel like I should save the last half for like tomorrow. Just so we can enjoy opening more Pokemon cards, but I'm enjoying opening Pokemon cards right now. Uh, hello? My power just went out. <laughs> Did you hear the electrical noise? What the hell? Oh? Uh, what the hell? I promise I didn't purposely do that just to put in a super secret rare card here. Okay, well let's do this. I'll, uh, <laughs> what the hell, man? Why did the power go out? Please tell me there is like a secret. That'd be hilarious. Okay, there's not. Come on, that would have been so funny if that was. Man. Uh, yeah, well, we were about to restart the recording anyway <laughs> before we were literally cut off from power. So yeah, let's go reset the house real quick. And is my light turned the whole point? Yeah, okay. Cool. It's been a couple of minutes. I feel like that was just a random kind of power flicker, but I mean, it's been, I mean, it's, there's nothing now, but there's been a bunch of storms going across Florida. Actually kind of like a super bummer thing that I saw right before opening up the box. I saw something about in Miami. I don't know what happened or what, because it just, it's, what is it? it's 4 a.m. now. I'm late night degenerate right now. But I just saw all over Twitter that like a 12 story building just collapsed in Miami. So that's kind of bumming me out a little bit. Galarian Zapdos, hopefully, you know, like that's actually a really cool card. Hopefully all the people involved with that are safe and everything and they can get rescued. Cause like, I think I just saw it was at like two or three AM or something. So it literally just happened. But if, I mean, I live in Jupiter, Florida. Um, Miami's like an hour and a half drive for me. And I go to a lot of baseball games down there in Miami. So yeah, that's kind of uh, extremely terrible. So my prayers go out to all the people involved with that. Hopefully, I mean, I don't even know what, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about it other than what I just saw really quickly on Twitter. And that's kind of bumming me out. But yeah, we've had like a lot of storms going through Florida lately. So I don't know if the power going out was related to that, or uh, it's probably just like a random flicker. Which we have those underground power lines that are supposed to be top tier and be be good with the hurricanes and everything. But uh, apparently I'm the only one that kind of realizes our underground power lines are connected by, by above ground power lines. So it's Kecleon, that, that's the Pokemon everyone wants. Pokemon Go, right? So, yeah, Peony, he was, he was kind of whatever. That's up to me in like Sword and Shield, the characters were just super like, meh, you know? Like, I mean, does anyone really care about Peony? <laughs> like the dude, I mean, it, it was kind of messed up because he was, it wasn't the whole time he's like trying to chase around his daughter. That was like, I guess rebelling or whatever. Ooh, this this is a nice open pack right here. Can we not mess with that? What is that one? I don't know what Pokemon that is. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think there's like four arts, so we'll do that for the binder. Learn your mask. But I mean I guess Peony was alright. It wasn't the worst. Pian wait, Peonia. I don't remember. Is that his daughter? I don't remember that in the game. Yo, honey! That's a full art trainer right there. Okay, so apparently, well, no, we got the two, uh, like, VMAX. Okay, so I, next couple, anyway, this is a really cool card. I was just saying the the other half wasn't too great, and then it's kind of picking it up in the other half, so that's pretty cool. Avery, that's pretty sweet. I love the, the full art trainer cards. Look so cool. I love those. There's a... I think it's Nessa is the one. I think she was in Vivid Voltage, and I really want to get the full... Well, anyway, this Honey card is really cool. <laughs> I'm not sure on who Honey is. I don't remember that from Sword and Shield. I'm going to have to, like, look that up. That's pretty sweet, though. That's a cool card. Because Nessa was the Water Gym trainer. 
who like Misty, you know, uh, I like to fish, so is Misty. She's water again, so I like Nissa and uh, Shoot Sword and Shield. So I kind of want to get a one of the floor trainer cards because of that. And I, I don't know, but like I don't think there's a secret rare of her. I think it's just a rainbow rare or whatever. So I might try and get one of those. Definitely not. I haven't opened up any of the voltage, but. It's way easier to just buy them, trust me. <laughs> just buy the cards you want all the time. All the time, 100% of the time. Just buy the cards you want. Uh, open a couple of packs thing, but yeah. Uh, Jesse over Jesse, like I said before, Jesse over at Jesse Rachel FL. Reverse Hollow Hunter and Spirit Tomb. We need you Hollow. I actually got two Hunter reverses. Jesse over at Jesse Rachel FL. Hooked me up with a good price on Booster Box, and I was like, We've never done that, so let's do it. So we did it. Here we are doing it right now. So it's pretty sweet. Thanks once again. Thanks a lot, Jesse. Because otherwise we wouldn't have been doing this with the with the card prices of Pokemon cards. Especially, I'm super curious to see how everything plays out now that uh, like Walmart and Target aren't carrying cards anymore. I think it's just until things kind of settle down. I don't think it's like an indefinite kind of thing. But, also, I don't know if they're going to be doing it online. Also, two more packs left. Let's see. Can we get something cool? Cool card. Lapras. Reverse. Rigus. And Sarnia. Serena? I don't know how to say that name. There's a... Caitlin. Last pack. Something cool. Come on. I was thinking... I don't know if we should do it or not. It's kind of dumb, because they're... I do... I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it after this. Just feel. Last pack. Come on. Something cool. Cool card, please. Reverse Aeron. And if there's a cool card, I'll be here. Wow. It's there. <laughs> Whoa. Secret Rare Rugged Helmet. Yo, that's awesome. It worked. Literally the last pack. That's pretty sweet. Let's go. That and that cool artwork. Wow, and the regular, re well, yeah, if you ever wondered what uh, the differences are, there's the rugged helmet, regular, I guess it would be, and then I think that the gold secret rare, right? When it's like that. Also, I think there's like a bunch of secret rares in this set, so yeah, we're gonna we're going to do the good old wait until the next set comes out and then we'll go back to the previous set kind of, because I've learned that through baseball cards. You know, I mean, I don't know. Nowadays, card prices are insane and everything's different, but usually if you wait, card prices come down and you get everything a lot cheaper. So, yeah, that's <laughs> in the last pack. So, yeah, that was, that was a crazy box. It was like the one half had basically, I'm, 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 I can't speak English, that uh, it was basically like the... Every single non hollow rare you could get was in the other half, and then uh, it turned on, and we got ourselves some good cads. That's pretty sweet. So, yeah, those are all the rare hollow, not those are all the rare cards, reverse hollows. So, I guess the hits. I would consider hits. Um, we got the Tornado Zapdos, Slow King, Volcanion V cards, which all look, I feel like they changed the artwork design on these. And they look really good. I'm a big fan of them. So there's that Zapdos, that's really cool. I haven't caught that yet in Sword and Shield, so like I said, Glaring Slow King, I love that one. So those are pretty sweet. And then, we got the Tornadus VMAX, which is pretty sweet. It's really cool looking. Like I said, you, you can kind of see it. It's also really hard to see once it's in the sleeve. But the card's textured, so that it has like a feel to it. Oh yeah, then we got that Rugged Helmet. See, I'm pretty sure that's Secret Rare, right? In the last pack, that's awesome. Then we got the Celebi. I think this is a Rainbow Rare, right? VMAX, Flirt thing, which is Really cool. And then we got the, I think that's just full art. 
VMAX CLB. Also really cool. So that's like kind of actually cool. We got the same, we like kind of almost finished. I don't know if there's another one. There's probably like a V card. Or did we get, we didn't get the V card. I don't know, we have to see. Which I'll show you a cool way to see all the cards. And then we got the Full Art Trainer Honey card. That's pretty sweet. I love the Full Art Trainers. They're, those are actually probably some of the coolest cards, I think. But yo, that was awesome. That was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was doubting for a little, I was a doubter for a little bit because we were kind of getting absolutely destroyed in uh, <laughs> the start of that booster box. And then uh, it brought it back. The team, you know, the team came out at the halftime and uh, did a little good old, guys, we're getting destroyed. We better do something about it. And you know what? The booster box did something about it. So that's pretty sweet. And then we got all these dang energy cards. Poor energy cards, man. <laughs> that's like, that's like the saddest. I have, energy cards have to be like the saddest thing of cards. You know, like, yeah, that was pretty sweet. I don't know how long this, this is probably going to be a long video. So I probably shouldn't do it. Because I was saying, I kind of wanted to, I have like, I have several of these Shining Legends. They're like the pen pack, pen edition collection packs. And I, I guess there's three of them, which I have, I don't know. It's kind of really stupid to open these because these are pretty valuable now. <laughs> Last time I checked, they were like eighty to ninety dollars. So, um, yeah, I I did open up a bunch of Shining Le Legends previously, and I don't know how close we are to finishing that because that's like a hundred something card set. I'm pretty sure, like under hundred thirty cards. I feel like for Shining Legends. So that's like actually a really cool set. Yeah, but I was just gonna say really quick. I do kind of like the smaller sets of cards because you know they kind of this is really big like 233 cards the secret rares and full arts and stuff like that are in this set so i feel i don't know i feel like 150 for pokemon at least should be kind of like the limit because that's kind of even like the 100 i think there's like some 110 120 card sets i think those provide chase i guess it would be you know because it's just like okay so you, you buy some you buy some packs you get a majority of the commons and uncommons then you got to chase down a few of the like you know like hollow rares or full arts and the secret rares and stuff like that you know i feel like that has like a perfect balance a perfect balance and also you want to finish the set like 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 the entire set you know because how many people like that's what i was saying earlier i think uh like how many people like actually finish like a set like this does this say yeah so this show this like this card is 50 out of 100, that if it would be focused, it's probably better. Like right above my thumb right here, you can see. 50 out of 198. So there's like 198 cards in the set. And then there's the secret, which like the gold. And I think the, do these count? Yeah, on the rainbow rare and the secret rare, it focuses. It's hard to tell because of sparkles. You can see like on the, this one, the rainbow rare, it's 199 out of 198. So I believe that goes up, yeah, like right here on the, Secret Rare, it's 228 out of 198. And I think it goes up to 233. So there's like literally, what is that? Like 35 something really rare cards to get. It's uh, it's kind of crazy to me. I don't know. I don't know if we'll go as far as, well, I don't know. We just gotta see like how much, you know, that those cards, these cards end up being. Maybe we'll go for that or not. I definitely wanna finish the base Sword and Shield set. We got a pretty good start on that and like, this, you know, I mean, it's a big set though. Like, I feel a booster box would probably get us a majority of the way there on the commons and uncommons. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun opening this. Maybe, I don't know. I'd have to talk to Jesse and thank you for, to Jesse and Rachel that they uh, set me up for the booster box. And I have to, I don't know. I kind of do want to do another one, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to talk to them about it, but yeah, this is a lot of fun.